Vein top. Watch as I just mega outplay this vein. And by that I mean I'm probably gonna die 10 times. Maybe blue cane? Hell no. This is not a blue cane game at all. She can go Edge of Night and Guardian Angel, he can go Edge of Night, she can go Zanyas and Banshees. Jinx can go GA. Like, I'm telling you right now, if I go blue cane by the 30 minute mark, the only thing I'll be able to do is one shot the Ash and that's it. It's a weird angle for her to come from. She must have been like standing on the blue buff. That's like the only thing I can think of. Oh, she took a turret shot. It's pretty good for me. Bro, oh my god, can I buy the glowing moat? Jesus. One more wave and then I can TP back. Dude, watching Vayne try to wave clear is so funny. I have teleport, that's fine. Yeah, I W'd and then pressed Q and then one of the melee minions went out of range. So they walked past me and held the wave. Dude, Lily, I can't shove this wave with that- Oh my god, Lily just killed me. She just killed me. Okay, Fane backed off. What the- I do- I can't help you with grubs unless you shove the wave first. Just help me crash my wave and then we can go take rubs together. And now instead I'm, I'm like in a terrible lane state and I can't play. Did she even stop me from proxying? I don't know. This Vayne seems content to just like continue to hard push it into me over and over again even though she could freeze it once and like end the lane. So we will take that. Cause now all I have to do is like survive like, what, two waves and then I can just TP back? Why is she arch shoving? Is she just let the wave bounce back towards her and then hold it? I would have to sack an entire wave to start a proxy.
got form. I mean, if we don't have form, but like... We almost have form. And because they sent three people top, we just won mid lane and bot lane. Classic enemy team moment. By the way, you guys are gonna get to see a funny interaction where... As soon as I get form and Edge of Night, I can just run the Vayne down, because the only way Vayne can proc my spell shield is with her Condemn. So she has no form of self-feel anymore once I buy this item. See, traditional knowledge would tell you it's okay to back there, but... Smite Kane Top says, haha, Smite. <laughs> Look, we already have two dragons, and it's Cloud Soul. We don't need a third one. Now, unfortunately, I was never able to click Vayne with the exhaust, so... We're kind of just stuck with exhaust. My teleport is up, but... I can't swap to it. Ooh, I could go Exhaust Ignite. How annoying is that? Right, let's see if I can grab that Vayne shot down. You guys see that? That's what you do against Vayne when you're playing Kane. You just go Edge of Night. That's also a tip you can use if you're ever playing Renekton. You can just rush Edge of Night into Vayne. And then now all of a sudden you can actually engage on her. Like, what is Vayne gonna do? Get two Condemns in a fight? Oops. If I hit the W, I would've killed. Like, if I hit either W, if I hit Bane with the W, or if I hit Kha'Zix with the W, but I just missed them both. I never miss those. I might not be able to hit skill shots, but what I can do is count to three. Well, more specifically, I have to count to like two and a half. Because the W has like a good delay time. Barely survived that. Might be dead. I think I'm dead. Oh, yeah, true. I do need that. Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> if I just had this on, I'd be winning all my games. SMH. Oh, she is a... That's sad. Anyways, I thought I, I actually thought I was gonna one-shot her. I'm surprised I didn't. I'll never say that range top is unskilled. Because listen, from my perspective, if she plays it perfectly, there's nothing I can do, right? But from the Vayne's perspective, if she gets hit by a single W, she's dead. Like, it, it's hard. Like, here, if she plays it perfectly, Yasuo can't do anything. But if Yasuo lands one knockup, Vayne's dead. Like, when, when you're the one who's actually playing range top, you feel, like, so fragile. Because you know the instant you make a mistake, you'll get insta-punished for it. Anyways, do we think I can kill her? Round two. <laughs> I got her that time. You know what's funny is that in Season 13, Jinx would have died right there. The mythic build was Prowler's Claw. 
you did a ridiculous fuck ton of damage with Prowler's Claw. It was, it was actually crazy. But that was the old fashioned build. It was Prowler's Claw and Man Immune, Cyrilda's back when it wasn't shit, and then Holebreaker fourth. And that build did a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, you know what? I could fuck with this vein even more. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go stride breaker last, if I even get there, which I probably won't. But if I do, that vein is gonna be so sad. The main thing that made Prowler's Claw broken, by the way, wasn't even the dash. It was um, the mythic passive, giving five lethality on a miss. Like you could get like, what was it? Like forty three lethality on one item. That's just not balanced. Think about how broken Ghostblade was when, when it was like temporarily a mythic and a gate lethality, like if that wasn't even 48. Anyways, there you go. There's your guys' masterclass on how to play against Vayne Top. Because I know a lot of people complain about that one. I think that game's gonna go on the second channel, by the way. That one felt good enough.